So I wanted to do a quick video uh, addressing uh, Expose the Manosphere. Um, I got an opportunity to uh, check out one of your videos. I guess it's your latest video um, about why do the Manosphere disdain criticism? And I wanted to showcase something um, real quick. Um, I would say this, make sure that when you're reporting information, that you're reporting the correct information. And this is not trying to be, you know, come at you with like raw and aggression. This is just having the tough conversation. Um, I noticed that at the 8.11 minute mark that you had a picture of me, a uh, video uh, clip of me on a, sh I think it was Mr. Fantastic's panel. Um, I don't know if you watched the whole thing. I noticed that you said that, you know, you don't need to watch the whole video in its context or entirety to understand the context of the video. Um, me personally, that particular day, um, I forgot what they were actually talking about, but I thought that the panel was pretty insightful and I wanted to join in um, and have a conversation. I've been on all gay panels, uh, panels with all women, uh, panels with both uh, uh, heterosexual and gay people. So multiple different types of uh, panels, liberals, uh, Republicans, Democrats. So I've been on a lot of panels um, just to have the tough conversation or at least to add to the conversation. Um, you took us video and said, yeah, these are all the guys that be in the manosphere or whatever case may be, or that's a part of the manosphere. I don't believe that I'm a part of the manosphere. I'm not a part of a clique a team, a, 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 a manosphere, a womanosphere, none of that. Because here's the issue that I have. The issue that I have is a lot of people promote extreme activity. That means all. I have to sum up all people in order to justify, one, my shortcomings, or two, the fact that I've been hurt or I don't understand what those other people do. So I find it very interesting that when people say we're all gathered together to talk about a situation, but the situation never gets fixed. No matter how many videos, no matter how much dialogue, the situation never gets fixed. So me, I like to say that I'm the common denominator. That means I can sit with a group of men who have a disdain to a certain degree or have concerns about women and say, you know what? I understand where you're coming from and this is how I see it. And hopefully I can add some light to the conversation and vice versa. Maybe they can tell me something that I would, I didn't know. But the reason why I'm making this response, this response video to you is because I feel like if your thought process is that the manosphere is saying that you are not taking the time in its entirety to listen to the context and that you are taking clips out of the Manosphere's conversations and then putting it all together and then say, look at how bad they are. I would tell you that your argument then becomes somewhat debunk because of the fact of myself. Myself being on a one-time panel, um, having a conversation with gentlemen that were not sitting there just bashing that particular panel was not sitting there bashing all women. Um, the conversation I thought was pretty good. So I joined the conversation. However, if you take the time and say, I'm going to now all of these men that I'm saying that are a part of the manosphere, that are a part of the problem, uh, that do not listen to reason or cannot reason or whatever it is that you want to justify and push the narrative with. I would say if you're going to put people in a video, Make sure that all of those people in the video support that narrative. I do not support your narrative. I am not on a all women bashing crusade. I do not bash all men. I try to empower people. I look at certain situations and I provide insight. I provide a common sense narrative or conversation. Now, a lot of times when people find it more feasible to join up with a group of people because they share like-minded thoughts and ideas. And that's great, you can do that. My thing about it is, are you fixing the problem or are you just discussing it repeatedly? I find that with the women's sphere and the manosphere, 
There is strength in numbers. So therefore, people join forces. I have not joined forces with anyone. If I find something that you're talking about needs to be addressed from my point of view, from my common sense outlook, then I'm going to address it. So I would like it. If you are going to put people in your videos and say, these are the group of people, that means if I was on a panel full of racist people and I was there to give my perspective on why I'm not racist, but someone decided to put, uh, make a video and say, yeah, these are all the men that's racist. And now you have me in a video clip of saying all of these men are racist, which would be unfair because you didn't do the due diligence that it takes to actually say, let me make sure that what I'm reporting is correct. And that's what this response video is about. If you're saying that the manosphere is tagging you and saying you are not doing the correct procedures of watching the videos. I don't care if they 15 hours long. If you want to say that these people only promote one narrative, then you have to, you have to put in the work and it's great to have snappy videos. It's great to have graphics. It's cool. It sounds great. However, the fact of the matter is when you start putting people's faces and stuff and saying that these people are all a part of the problem, then you now become a part of the problem. If I'm going to do a video, I'm going to make damn sure that all of these people I put in a video are a part of that group. Never one time have anyone said, Mr. Fantastic or anybody else, a part of the Manosphere that, that Mario J or Tough Love is a part of us. Like he promotes what we promote. Not, not one time. Now, I, I, I think I, I'm grateful that people allow me on their panels to speak my mind or to indul indulge in the conversation. I think that's cool. I think that's very noteworthy. Uh, there are some things that um, I hear in the manosphere that I totally agree with. And then there are some things that I provide a pushback or I just sit back and just say, OK. However, being a man is not about taking sides. Being a man is about standing for something. And if you stand for something, then you should be able to stand on your own. So I'm not clicked up, I'm not teamed up, and I am not trying to bring, you know, black women down. I am a person who sits back and I talk about the things that I've experienced either through my, my personal endeavors, uh, my professional endeavors, or just educational life period. So I would appreciate that if you ever see me on a panel and you're trying to paint that you title a narrative, make sure that everyone that you're encompassing in that narrative fits that narrative. OK, I am not a female hater. I am not a male hater. I'm a common sense outliner. God damn it. <laughs> so with that being said, man, hey, you have a great day. Anytime that you want to talk to me, feel free to reach out to me. I'm just saying if you want to take down the manosphere, Make sure that you're taking down the manosphere in the appropriate fashion. That means your facts are correct. In this case, by having me a part of this video, it debunks what you're saying in reference to all men. Because I would, I would tend to believe that if you got me wrong by saying I'm a part of the manosphere and the manosphere only promotes such and such and such, then you probably got somebody else wrong. So that gives Mr. Fantastic and anybody else the, the 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 leverage to say you're getting your information crossed up and wrong. Something to think about. Until next time, I daughter up, man. This is Mr. Goddamn Tough Love, Mario J. I holla at you.